Hey guys and welcome to the third tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to set up the uh, interacting system so that we can use our first person character to walk up to the spaceship and hit F and then it'll switch to the spaceship. This will be a bit more modular than the current system we have and uh, it'll offer a lot more options for us. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to file, sorry we're going to go to edit, project settings and then we're going to go to input on the left. We're going to add a new action mapping and this one is going to be called interact. Now I'm going to set this to, you can set it to whatever you want, but I'm going to set it to F, set it to the F key, and I'll also add a gamepad key so we have gamepad support. I think the movement options already have gamepad support by default, so we might as well keep uh, adding that. So we'll add the face button top, so it's the Y key on the, X pad, on the Xbox button. Save that. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to go into our first person character. And this is going to be a little complex what we're going to do. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line from the HMD, the headset, to where you're looking. So that when we play, when we hit F, it'll draw an invisible line between where your headset is in the world to where you're looking. And when it hits something, such as this spaceship, it's going to give us the option to enter it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our new interact button so we'll right click and do interact and our action event should pop up so when that's pressed we want to do a line trace by channel line trace by channel okay so to start the start location where we want that to be is the camera so we'll select the camera here and we'll drag that into the world and we'll drag off that and do get world location. Drag that into the start. Now we want the line to extend from this location forward. So what we'll do is we'll drag off the camera again. We'll do get actor, oh, sorry, get forward vector. That'll get the forward direction. And then we're going to drag off that and we're going to multiply that by a float. We're going to multiply that by 1000. And then we're going to drag off the world location, and we're going to add these two vectors. Put the multiplication into there, connect that, and then just connect that to the end. Now under draw debug type, we're going to select and we're going to do for duration. Sorry, we're going to do persistent just so it'll stay. Compile and save that. Now I'm going to show you what this did. When we hit play, enter the game, we hit F, it's drawing these lines. Not sure if you can see that on the screen. I'll hit it a bunch of it. it. Shows up red. Basically, it's drawing a line from our camera to a thousand units forward. And if we hit F at our spaceship, you can see it makes a little square, and that means it's hitting it. All right, so that's good. Got that set up. So now, off this 